Hi, welcome back to Dr. Donovan Medicine Made Easy. My name is Dr. James Donovan, and every Wednesday and Sunday, I produce new medical education videos aimed at helping you better understand your own health. So if you haven't done so already, please hit the subscribe button. In today's video, we're going to be discussing treatment of chlamydia, which is one of the most common sexually transmitted infections in both men and women. Thankfully, chlamydia can usually be effectively treated with antibiotics, and more than 95% of people will be cured if they take their antibiotics correctly. The two most common prescribed antibiotics for chlamydia are firstly doxycycline, which is taken every day for a week, and next azithromycin, which is usually given as one dose of a gram, followed by 500 milligrams once a day for two days. Your doctor may give you different antibiotics, such as amoxicillin or erythromycin, if you've got an allergy to things like doxycycline, or if you're pregnant or breastfeeding. A longer course of antibiotics may be used if your doctor is concerned about the complications of chlamydia. Now, some people do experience side effects during treatment, but these are usually mild, and the most common side effects include things such as a stomach ache, diarrhea, feeling sick, as well as thrush in women. Now, a question that is commonly asked is when can I have sex again? Well, if you've had doxycycline, you shouldn't have sex, which includes vaginal, oral or anal sex, even with a condom, until both you and your partners have been completely treated. If you've had azithromycin, you should wait seven days after treatment before having sex, and that includes oral sex. And that's because it will ensure that you don't pass on the infection or catch it again straight away. Another question that is asked is, when will I need to go back to the clinic to check if I've had the chlamydia infection cleared? Well, if you take the antibiotics correctly, you may not need to return to clinic. However, you will be advised to go back for another chlamydia test if you've had sex before you or your partner finished treatment, if you forget to take your medication or you didn't take it properly, your symptoms don't go away, or if you're pregnant. In the UK, if you're under the age of 25, you should be offered a repeat test for chlamydia three to six months after finishing your treatment because you're classed as a higher risk of catching it again. Finally, some people ask, do I need to tell or get my partner to be treated if I have chlamydia? Well, the answer is yes. If you test positive for chlamydia, it's important that your current sexual partner and any other recent sexual partners are also tested and treated. And by recent, I mean in the last six months. A specialist sexual health advisor can help you contact your recent sexual partners or the clinic can contact them if you prefer. So if you're in the UK, I've included a really useful link below in the description box, which you can follow in order to access your local sexual health services who can provide everything from testing through to treatment and contact tracing. So finally, if you've got any questions or concerns or comments, please leave them in the comments box below. I do my best to try and respond to everybody. However, this is a medical education channel rather than a clinical channel. So I may not be able to give individual clinical medical advice. If you need this, please contact your nearest healthcare provider. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already for the new videos every Wednesday, every Sunday. I hope you found the video helpful and until next time, bye.